La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. <laughs> Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Huh. I like how this is supposed to be like her reminiscing, but it's like today in real life. Mm -hmm. But some of this is from like the future ish. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Mm -hmm. Uh, fuck, I'm so stupid. I finally got to see La La Land. They showed it on Classics Night at the theater. Classics Night? So how far in the future are we? You know? I went with Ben. Loved it. No, it's it. February 14th, 2018. No, but I'm saying, like, if they're showing this on, quote-unquote, oh. I think they just were like, this is a good movie, and they're in the theater, so. Got it, got it. Okay, for a second I thought it meant, like... We're like, in the year 2025. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Okay. I'm so happy to see her. I actually friggin' hugged her, and she pushed me away, asked what I thought I was doing, and that Trevor asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. Whoa. I am alone. We already read these. Wait, hold on. This one. This one. I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that, as if I've got her tied up in here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. These are the good times that make me forget. All my troubles seem so far away. Wait a minute. Is that a song? I know it's him, and there's nothing I can do. They never believe me. And I don't think I'll ever see Bumblebee again. Oh, fuck. I can't sit and watch. I'll have to be fearless. I found this site where you can buy guns off anyone. Not that I mean to shoot anyone. It's just, I don't know what to do anymore. It's for protection, you know? Isn't that what they say? Anyway, there was this guy who wanted to sell me this totally new 9mm. I'm meeting him out of town somewhere. A little shady, I admit, but with Trevor lurking around, I'll take my chances. Fuck. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, she was robbed, and I guess, like, that would make sense if you... Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. I couldn't afford a car and Marie didn't want one. So we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly. And with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Hmm. The pencil case. Oh. Oh. I guess that was just for the journal. Never mind. I mean, if someone stole AJ and probably killed him, I think I probably would buy a gun too to kill him. Today was a good day. Only five emails from Trevor. Only five. I hope he's finally getting it. She's not coming back. He really holds me responsible for it. I can handle that if it keeps him away from her. When I saw him in the hallway this morning, he slid his finger across his throat again. If he wasn't such a scary ass clown, I'd laugh. But he does scare me. I don't tell Kelsey these things. She shouldn't worry. Yeah, I think if somebody kidnapped AJ, I would, I don't know what I would do. Well, because see, I'd that's probably like, fucking lose it. that's a whole nother level. Like, that's not just like, I don't know, for some reason, like, people that hurt animals, I mean, obviously hurting people is bad, but like, if somebody just like, breaks in, you could be like, oh, maybe they just meant to rob us and like, you know, whatever. But if they like, 
kidnap or kill an animal, that's like you're killing a living being, and that's, you know, I feel like that's stooping to a level. Well, I mean, if you... I'm, that's stooping to a level that's a little more scary, to me personally, a little more scary than like... I'd ra I, I think maybe what you're trying to say is that you'd rather get beat up than have your dog beat up. No, I'm saying if somebody just like steals something from me or threatens me, that's less scary to me than them actually killing an animal that belongs to me. Yeah. Like, if yeah, I'd rather have someone like steal all my shit than steal AJ. Yeah. Because what, I don't know what they're gonna do to AJ, and AJ's my boy. That's what I'm saying. Like, like like stealing things or like them sending me emails like for some reason that doesn't scare me as much as like oh they actually stole a living thing and they probably killed it yeah, you know it's fucking creepy Stacy's not saying that animal life is more valuable than no life, no I'm not way. saying that at all I'm just saying like people that are willing to like hurt living things that scares me more than November 17th, 2017. We had a party today, celebrating three years of food rescue. Everyone was there. All those happy, familiar faces. Loved it. Kelsey came in. I never took her for one of the hungry. I don't think she knows my name, but everyone knows hers. She's gorgeous. It surprised me is all. I could see the shame in her eyes when she had to accept the bag of groceries from me. Still, I couldn't take my eyes off her. If this world allows someone like Kelsey Jackson to be hungry, it must be everywhere. So I'm going to fight it with everything I've got. Girl. I think part of Kelsey's frustration, though, was, like, she didn't like feeling like people pitied her, you know? It's pretty shameful to have someone see you at your worst, even if it's not really your fault or anything. It's just, like... It feels shameful. It's not, like... It feels shameful to have somebody... Like... When I was living in my car, I remember waking up one day and someone was, like, taking out the trash. Mm -hmm. And they, like, saw me waking up in my car and I was like, this is the worst feeling mm -hmm. in the whole world. Okay. Hmm. You have any ideas? Maybe these shoes, the sparkly shoes. Yeah. He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. So, I can understand the appeal of somebody who has nothing, and Trevor has money from things. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, Trevor... So, sorry, go ahead. So, I think that new things are showing up, like, as we continue to unlock more, so... Yeah, because these were here, but we couldn't undo them. There's, a, like, a note underneath Yeah, the... wait, that's the shadow person. Oh, okay. I'm not a shadow per... I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. So maybe he was robbing people? Probably. He might have been the person who robbed... That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy, for her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. How come I didn't get an invitation? It's just for the binder. All right, let's open up the journal. I'm trying to ignore the fact that all of Kelsey's cute stuff is paid for with Trevor's money. He is such a creep. I don't get what she sees in him. She says I'm jealous, as if 
Thing is, she thinks she needs him to get away from all of this, but she doesn't. She got away from her mom all on her own. Kelsey is the smartest, coolest, sweetest person you can imagine. She doesn't need anyone to get her out. She can do that all on her own. Too bad she doesn't believe that herself just yet. Oh, those sparkly shoes. She wears them all the time. Last, last night, the heels dug into my calf. That freaking hurt. Have you seen those heels? So I yanked them off her feet, and I told her, not in the bed. She was amused. I can't think why. To be honest, I wish I was a size 9, because they look absolutely gorgeous. On Kelsey's feet, at least. When I tried them on, I looked like a little girl trying on mommy's shoes. Aww. for another circle round. Mm -hmm. What about the backpack? By your feet. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. That sucks. I screwed up, but I was worried. But I, I'm, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while, and I just wanted to make sure she wasn't hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah! Why did I do that? Now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we meet the make the deadline. Aw, they became science lab partners. And they were friends. Oh. oh, wait. It's already been checked. It would be nice if they indicated somehow that you'd already checked something. Yeah, well. Like if they just changed the text to be a different color, you know, when it popped up. Yeah. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Hated that thing. What about those, uh, is, can you, uh, any of those books under there? I can't crouch. Or, uh, no, I know, I just meant mouse over them. Or any of, like, the drawers or anything. No. Mm -hmm. AJ's hey, oofing. Mm-hmm. I did the shopping bags. Did those. Uh, what about that? Yeah. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Hmm. Remember a five figure number. Hmm. I did it. I hope I'm not going to regret this. Oh, there's a gun in there. Probably. <laughs> Five figure number. Let's think. Um. Wait, hold on. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see... I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Wrong company. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Let's look on the computer. K. 
Petty email. Why does someone need to get her? One day, when Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for Six, days. Six twenty-three eighteen. She Maybe. thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. She must have written it down here somewhere. Hmm. Written it down. Okay. Um, so... Let's what, what are the things that she's written? Oh, wait. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her pizza and movie party. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. Huh. I just want... Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. The room? Took me forever to convince Kelsey to ride a bike because it ain't cool. Our rides are the best part of the day now, and on this day, we rode them through Mr. Jones's orange grove in broad daylight. We got home with a basket full of the juiciest golden oranges. I don't even think of, I don't I didn't even think about getting caught. <laughs> what gross? Hey, wait, the numbers are circled on these things. See four, nine, go to the next one. Again. Five, do you think? Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Three, Three four, nine, five. Oh, that's only four digits. What is the code, Murray? Hold must on. be, oh, she just said it must be in the journal. Okay, hold on. Let's go back all the way. Three, four, Nine. Five. We guess we gotta open up more journal entries to open that up to get some guns. Disgusting, but... Okay. So... Uh, what about the plant? Calendar. Stone. stone! I didn't like that she kept the stone. Oh. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Journal updated? Yep. Okay, I've calmed down a bit. That La La Land, that La La night, she was with Trevor. And he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right, but she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. She said if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. <laughs> She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. What about... So it sounds like Marie got like really, not just really invested, but like she was really scared for this person that she cared a lot about. Mm -hmm. And then of course Trevor, you know, did some really messed up stuff. What, uh, what's on the floor right there? Oh, okay. 
Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. in many ways. Mm -hmm. um. Sometimes it got so hot. This thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. One. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that. Oh, you didn't let Sorry. Me finish. <laughs> Whoops. You're so excited. I'm so excited. Okay. Three, four, nine, five, one. Three, four, nine, five, one. What is the code, Marie? Wait, the journal. It must be in the journal. Yay! Good work, Kelsey. <laughs> oh my god. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. 
Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... <laughs> what do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Whoa. Yeah. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anna Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar. Oh, oh thank God. They're Don't friends. Let Don't let her smoke. I love that car. <laughs> she knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. First Jay to read the journal. I regret food rescue. I regret the science project. I regret it all. My father could have died because of me and my inability to pick real friends. Kelsey never was who she said she was. I never really knew her, it turned out. It's all been bullshit. And I am so stupid. I should have realized it that la la night and walked away for good. Because someone died right in this room. I made him die. I pulled a trigger, made a bullet pierce his head, made his blood soak the carpet, drip through the cracks on into the floor while it were where it will remain forever. To bear witness to what I'm capable of, I can't stay here. Am I the same me? I don't know anymore. I have to fix this. Fix me. Away from her. I have to focus on the positives in my life and stop questioning myself. Why did she do it? Why did I do it? Did I deserve this? Am I an evil person? A killer? I shot him in the head for Christ's sake. I could have gone for his leg. Dad calls them intrusive thoughts. I say they're the truth. I'm stronger than I look. I can do this. I will go up north to Uncle George, as Dad suggested. Nice and cool up there. I'll be able to think and finish high school. I'm leaving this journal here because I need a clean slate and fresh pages. I'm sorry. Dear diary, maybe I'll send for you someday when all of this is long over and I've dealt with being a murderer. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard but I don't know how, because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you. I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be alright. Marie. Wow. That was really enjoyable. That was a lot. And yeah. uh, it felt like a real thing, you know? Yes. It didn't seem like overly dramatic. It just felt like a real organic thing that happened. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy. I know we kept seeing it had a real life is strange feel, but it definitely. Oh, it in a good way. In a good way. It still was able to make its own. Hey, and mark. somebody gets shot. <laughs> okay. Calm down. What? 
<laughs> I need to like lay down. <laughs> that was really good. Wow. I like that. And it's free. That's uh, support free support game. this game. Yeah, donate to it or whatever, you know? This is a good game. And also, I'm pretty sure there were some journal entries that we didn't find. Yeah, so, so play it for yourself. If you got a dollar, slip it to that dev. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is really beautiful. Alright, thank you everyone! Oh, cool.